Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to prove that two to the power of two n does not belong to big O of two to the n. And we can do that simply by proving that two to the power of two n belongs to little omega of two to the power of n. And in the first rectangle, the red rectangle here, um, right here, I have the definition of what it means for a function to belong to little omega of another function. And then in the bottom rectangle in green down here, I have the definition of what it means for a function uh, to belong to big O of another function. So let me go ahead and read those out to you. We're going to start with the little omega definition. So that definition states that a function that we call f of n belongs to little omega of g of n if for any real constant that we call c is greater than 0, there exists a constant k greater than or equal to 1 such that 0 uh, is less than or equal to our function f of n and our function f of n is greater than some constant times of fun our function g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to our constant k. Now, next we have our definition of big O, and it states that the function belongs to big O of g of n if the function is greater than or equal to zero, and the function uh, grows less than or equal to some constant times g of n, and we use c for constant here, for all values of n greater than or equal to k, where our constant c is greater than zero, and our constant k is greater than or equal to one. All right. So what you'll probably notice here is the definitions are uh, very similar. Um, the main difference would be the inequality signs. So uh, here and the uh, big O definition, we have our function being less than or equal to uh, some constant times g of n. And here in the uh, little omega definition, we have our inequality uh, that says f of n is greater than some constant times g of n. So those are some uh, little differences there. So let's go ahead and use the definition of little omega to prove this, um, this function 2 to the power of 2n does not belong to big O of 2 to the n. All right. So let's go to a new page. First thing we're going to do is identify our function f of n and g of n. So our function f of n is equal to 2 to the power of 2 times n. And our function uh, g of n is equal to 2 to the power of n. All right. And so uh, the definition of little omega, we need to show that f of n grows strictly greater than some constant times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to some constant k. So let's plug in our function into this inequality here. So we get 2 to the power of 2n is greater than some constant times 2 to the power of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. And I just use those colorings um, to show uh, which one's f of n over here and which one's g of n over here. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use some algebra to solve this inequality. And we must show for any constant value c uh, that we must be able to find a constant value k that makes this inequality true. All right. So let's go ahead and start doing some algebra. So 2 to the power of 2n is equal to 2 to the power of uh, n squared. And so then we still have our greater than sign c times 2 to the power of n, and then we still need for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right, and now to simplify this a little bit more, so this is just 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of n is greater than 
c times 2 to the n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right, and now if we divide both sides by 2 to the power of n, we get 2 to the power of n is greater than our constant c for all values of n greater than or equal to k. And if we take the log of, of both sides, we can get n by itself. So we take log base 2 of 2 to the power of n greater than log base 2 of c for all values of n greater than or equal to k. And now we can see we got n here by itself. We see that n is greater than um, log base 2 of c. And so we want to choose a k value that's greater than log base 2 of c. So choose k value greater than log base 2 of c. All right. And let's choose, um, uh, I'll put an example here. Let's choose k to be equal to log base 2 of c plus 1. All right. Okay, so now let's go to a new page here. And let's rewrite our inequality. So we have n is greater than log base 2 of c for all values of n greater than or equal to log base 2 of c plus 1, because we just replaced the k here. And this is always true. All right. So now we can say, uh, therefore, and I'm going to use these three dots for therefore. So therefore, our function f of n belongs to little omega of g of n, and this implies, and I'm using that arrow for implies, that um, 2 to the power of 2n belongs to little omega of 2 to the power of n. And of course, this implies, so I'm actually running out of room here, I'm just going to bring the arrow on down here like this. Okay, so this implies that um, 2 to the power of 2n does not belong. So that's reason belong with a slash in it for not belong. Does not belong to big O of 2 to the n. All right. And so this is our answer. All right. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have um, in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.